start going over some of the things that might still be salvageable. It looks like we've got our washer fluid still salvageable, our steering reservoir. It wasn't connected, to, so we got lucky there, but still there. Master cylinder and hydraulic booster just got to be connected correctly, and it might still be functional. I guess uh, we might still have the electronic boost available if we get it hooked back up right. The ABS module, it looks like it's there and looks like we might be able to reuse that. Um, we've got the actual steering gear box and steering gear. Seems like it'd be all right. And front brakes are still intact. Probably just do a little cleaning up on them and get them uh, in good shape. But it seems like there's a little pad left on them for right now. But the front axle doesn't seem to be bent up or uh, or in rough shape. And of course, the sway bar uh, mounts are missing. And uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do there anyway. That might have gotten replaced anyway. Still considering the thought to convert it to four-wheel drive. Since I do have a four-wheel drive Allison on my hands right now. Uh, the proper Allison 1000 that would have came in it. Uh, but yeah, this side, the brakes seem to be intact and the steering gear all right. So we got lucky that that didn't get messed with. Front shocks are still on it and the front suspension seems to be like it's all right. The windshield wiper arms and cowl is still there. And uh, we've got a little fiberglass work to do on this fender, but we're going to be doing a lot on the on the hood and such anyway but this is not completely filled so I have to take the inside panel out and find out what what's being worked with there I guess whatever incident it was in it got damaged all the way down through here because this looks like it was repainted too uh, with the same flaky paint whatever was done uh, but this also feels very, very thin. So we'll check that out when I get that far along. But uh, the, the battery uh, cables and hold down is still in it. Slide down under there. So we got lucky there. Got the wheel seal leaking a bit. But uh, that's an easy fix to pull that axle out and reseal that. But pretty much the back end was pretty well destroyed. And uh, I guess they were pushing it around with a dozer or something, maybe. I'm not sure how they were moving it around. But they probably would have had to pick up on it to be able to move it much. Uh, being that the, the passenger side wheel was completely locked up. And uh, this one was somewhat turning. Uh, and that's why... We've gone ahead and just take the cap, took the caliper down and just kind of zip tied it off the ground for right now so that we could at least roll it around the shop for right now. But the gooseneck ball was in there. That's that was our old fifth wheel hitch anyway, so we just wanted to see that it was going to fit the bracket and set it in here. But instead of having the spigot here, we uh, cut that off and just uh, cut a hole in the bed to, I don't know why, honestly. Um, headache rack seems like the only part of the bed that is actually in okay condition. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it, so I don't know if we'll do something different there. Probably not right away. The main goal is just to be able to get it on the road and cruising first. But there is some salvageable pieces here. It's a, basically a complete start over. I don't know what these mounts came out of. They might have been from an express van or something. Uh, of course, we're going to get rid of these anyway. That's the middle seat's missing the back, and, and uh, they're not really great. So that was going to get replaced anyway. Uh, but the engine cover hood, yeah, it's still, uh, it's still all right. I don't know if 
the latches will latch for sure or not. I haven't gotten that far. Didn't didn't really push it all the way in to find out yet, but I think it will. Probably be replacing these floor mats while I've got all the interior out anyway, just be convenient. We might do carpet, we might do new new rubber, but really floor covering's not that concerning. But can keep us off the road. Uh, but as we typically go too far customizing, we'll probably end up changing it out anyway, so might as well go ahead and do it. Uh, but looks like the defrost vents and cover is still re reusable. Um, the steering column, you know, they had pretty well chopped it all up. The ignition has been broken inside of it, and uh, some of the linkages were right, but it's all right because I got a whole spare sh uh, steering wheel uh, column and all that stuff that we'll swap out anyway. The lower seems to be okay. Um, good news is it wasn't wasn't even attached. I'm pretty sure I can just yoink, yoink this out, but. It, uh, yeah, it's just mostly there for show, apparently. But anyway, um, uh, brake pedal. It looks like most of this, even though it's locked up, right. it, uh, it's not all the way locked up. That's just the cylinder tight right now, so it still works. Um, it apparently had some good audio and some video stuff in here before. Pretty cool stuff that we're in here before, um, but uh, any of those wiring was all cut, so it'd have to be figured out anyway. Um, but yeah, power locks, power windows, all that was removed. It looks like they screwed some speakers to the, the sides. Of course, I don't know what's actually in the door panel if there are any or not. But this this is all pretty well. A loss as far as I'm concerned not that we were interested in keeping a lot of it anyway uh, but it looks like the dome lights in it uh, the back one has the covers even <laughs> but it does have the seat belts so they're reusable and uh, power wind mirror switch I'm not sure that it would work though considering you know it's busted and flopping around and uh, we've got a lot of the, the sound deadening and fire uh, mesh still in there a lot of that padding still in there and I think we'll be able to reuse the drive shaft if it's uh, the right length I don't know if they kept it the right length and you joint may have to be swapped out but this cross member won't be hard to cut the rest of the way out. It just looked like they started welding and didn't actually hit the metal, so we got lucky. I can probably just clean that off and cut that back weld there and get this piece out. I don't, I'm assuming that C-channel is probably from the vehicle that the, the donor from the Cummins came from. But the front cross member was never attached, so luckily we can just toss that out. It's pretty easy to just knock it out of there. We do have the lower radiator support and the radiator itself, but none of the extras, uh, none of the shrouds, none of anything that's important. All of the AC stuff is all missing as far as the uh, plumbing and um, compressor, everything, obviously. Uh, the good news is we got a blower motor, so I may not have to replace that. We'll try to take it apart and clean it and make sure it's all right. Uh, some of this maybe reusable but we probably won't just to make it easier because uh, this is how they handled that situation uh, and it, since I have spares around it'll just be easier just to swap the whole thing out and ditch the junk and trash any terminals being cleaned up and swapped out and you know anywhere anywhere there was wires or harness uh, it was just cut and just random tied together in weird ways and places. I don't really know what they were doing there, but you know, it's 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 there. Um, it looks like we may still get lucky and have a AC condenser or the evaporator. Um, I'm sorry, but anyway, yeah, the lines are still on here. For, uh, 
going into the box, so we might be able to reuse the box and the internals. I think there's a couple of wires here they didn't find to be able to cut. We got kind of lucky there. At least we'll have a little bit of a template, if nothing else. Some of the harness going into the cab uh, was just unplugged. We got real lucky that some of this isn't cut. So that'll make for a good template too. Although the transmission plugs and harness are pretty well uh, whooped. It's still there. As far as the rear air rod, most of that seems like it was... Looks like we're going to be able to reuse the axle and the rear sway bar was left alone and never got disconnected. Um, and the actual uh, air rod arms and control arms and everything seem like they're here. Looks like they didn't get messed with. Uh, just the airbags are a little dry rotted and the airlines to them are kind of jerry-rigged. So, not really safe to be driving down the road with. So we'll make sure that that's all right to, before it starts driving down the road. But it does have the bag platforms in good shape and everything. Just looks like we'll get lucky and just replace those bags. Uh, it does have a rear hitch. Of course, it's welded to this bed and we'll most likely be ditching the bed. And... Uh, so here's some of the usables. Now as far as our donor Escalade for our interior stuff, we're gonna reuse some of, use some of the dash out of here. Um, I may go ahead and use this, this steering column since it's here and um, be taking apart the dash anyway. But I'll be reusing a lot of this. We may modify and use the, the power windows and locks and stuff out of this. and figure out what all we might actually be able to reuse as we go. But most of this was still intact because we uh, had just Duramax swapped it and had it set up for that. So as far as the original Escalade, most of the original Escalade stuff is still there to reuse. And uh, luckily a lot of it's interchangeable. So That'll be great. Um, since this isn't in great condition now, uh, it was kind of bound to be junked anyway. And I may end up just turning it into a trailer or uh, something else, but we've got a lot of leftovers in here that are usable and may have some fun ideas for this when we get further along but anyway just kind of a before more thorough before video of what's going on here since it's going to be a pretty in-depth project obviously I do intend to get it going and, and driving again and probably intend to keep on fixing it up and upgrading it over over time so it'll be fun we'll see i've wanted to build one of these out for a long time anyway been on my bucket list of cars to build